Hello there, this is Tim. I am back for another video on iOS 1 versus iOS 5. This video I'm going to be presenting today will show off one of the coolest changes, or one of the most noticeable changes, I should say, in the settings application. So this is one of the biggest apps that has gotten overhaul just as a nature of how the iPhone has evolved over the years with various settings like location, reminders, things like that, notifications, for example. So I'm going to be going through just comparing the settings app. So here are the phones, and let me just launch up the settings app on each of them. So here we go. You got the settings app. You'll notice right away the top grouping. So the settings app is built upon different groups of similar items. So originally, you had airplane mode and Wi-Fi mode. Both of those are radio location services. Both of those revolve around that aspect of it. In the newest OS, iOS 5, you have radio services plus uh, things that, I uh, guess, use radio services like location services and notifications. So these are the things that it, it basically, these are the most important things, I guess, to have easy access to. You're going to want to be able to get to Wi-Fi quickly. You're going to want to be able to turn off notifications quickly. You're going to want to be able to turn off location services very quickly. So you have that right there. That's next up. Ne another grouping, you have usage is next on the original iPhone. Usage got moved into general and then usage on the latest version. And then you'll see usage here versus usage here. So let's move out of that. So usage is totally in its own separate spot now. Moving on, that is the same three. You've got wallpaper, you've got brightness, and you've got sounds. So the same thing is there. Next, moving on, is a different grouping. And the final grouping for the original iPhone. The original iPhone includes general, mail, phone, safari, iPod, photos. Uh, Apple's expounded upon that by adding iCloud. They group in context calendars. They added Twitter. They added the FaceTime. And they also added a messages thing there and video as well as a store for App Store and Notes. And then they also add this huge other third-party app section where developers can actually integrate into that, which is a cool thing that they're able to do. So let's now just go through what, what's inside of each one of these. So first thing to note, airplane mode, you'll notice the toggles on the original iPhone are square. They are not the circular thing. So that has changed significantly there. Uh, just the toggle itself, you'll see it throughout this interface. So you'll see, you know, the same interface there for Ask jo Join Networks, the circle versus square. That's the same exact thing. Notifications, that's not even present on the, the old ones. I'm not gonna go into there. If we go down to sounds, you'll see a similar interface for everything here. You'll see an icon for silent, which is different from the one here. And basically this vibrate switch affects this guy here. So it looks to be like you're able to switch that on or off through the settings as well. You're also able to, once again, go down, uh, ring and alerts. So with the old uh, OS here, you had simply ring with that little icon there, and you had vibrate included there as well. You have that vibrate switch there, but it's switched off. So basically what Apple's done here is they have they've, they've changed it quite a bit here. So change with buttons and change volume, they've, they have gotten rid of that notion completely by simply having this switch here to change it and let me check if I move yes and if I move the volume down that is also going to be reduced so change with buttons is always selected on the original iPhone and next is uh, they have vibrate here but uh, after vibrate which is actually up top here they have the ringtone and the ringtone selection has changed quite a bit. You still have 
marimba in the original one, but you're able to buy more tones. You have alarm, you have ascending, you have bark, blues, and so on and so forth, so forth, and you go down to xylophone. So you have basically the same selection here. They have expanded this a bunch with alert tones that you're now able to have, but the same ringtones are core. They didn't add any new ringtones. You have the new found ability to, be able to actually add your own ringtone tunes through iTunes and stuff like that now, though. What else has changed here? So if we go to text tone, you have text tone ability here. In the old iOS, you simply have on or off switches. You have no setting for special sounds on each of these. You have keyboard clicks, you have lock sounds, calendar alerts. You have all these different alerts, and each of those have their very, they, they have their predetermined sound. So that's completely different with this OS from the newer OS. Brightness, nothing has changed there. If we go to wallpaper, you have a different ability here because wallpaper on iOS 1 was just this, was just the front page. On the old iOS, or on the new iOS, you have both options. So that's a big difference here. And there's a wallpaper preview. If I go here, click uh, click this here, I can preview that and set it. So the big difference is you're able to set both versus just one. Moving forward is the general tab. So what's inside this general tab? This is gonna be a big one. So you have about, you have software update and usage. The new iOS has several layers. The old iOS does not because there wasn't as much here. So you had about on both of them. About told you about the phone. So you had name, which on the new iOS, you're able to change. That's new. On the original one, you just had it titled up there. You have network. In this case, there is no network. You had songs. You had video count, photos. You had added applications here. You had capacity. You had available. You had version. You had carrier model and serial number closed it out. So you had different ordering there slightly. And you had the legalese, but in the newer ones, you have diagnostics, you have legal license and regulatory. So you have some more options there. So moving out of general, or about, I should say, uh, we now have software update, and we now have usage. Usage, as I've said, got moved and is now here. So if we compare the two, time since last full charge, call time period, and edge network data. That's what we have options to now. The new usage shows you a lot of stuff. So it shows you how much usage is my phone having with apps? How much usage is iCloud having? What's battery usage like? Can I turn that on or off the percentage? You have time since last full charge. That remains the same. And then uh, call time is not even there. You have to go into cellular usage. And then that's where you get the old school You've had 18 hours of call usage. You've had this amount of data received, cellular network instead of the edge data. And that is the big difference there with usage. So moving from the usage back to general is uh, date and time. So if we go to general uh, and date and time is now at the bottom here. So you have all these new things added. So Besides that, you have Siri added, network is moved, Bluetooth has moved, iTunes Wi-Fi sync is new, Spotlight search is brand new, Auto Lock is, n so the order you can see, greatly different. So let's go to day and time, which is at the bottom here versus the top here. You have 24 hour clock, ability to set that there. You have set automatically, set on time, you have time zone, and you have set day and time. New things added, time zone support, and time zone for, this is all calendar stuff. So you have calendar integration with date and time. That is new. Moving out of there, let's go back. Or wait, I should re-say that. Uh, the calendar stuff here was moved to a different area of the phone, as we'll get to later. So that's that. So after day and time, you have auto lock on the original phone. Let's go to auto lock. 
And if we go to auto lock up here, you have the same options. Nothing has changed there. Moving downwards of passcode lock. So let's just do one, one. And now, so we have auto lock and, or passcode lock. So in the difference here, you instantly have to enter a passcode when you want to do it here versus you have the ability to turn it on or you can have a simple passcode things like that so uh, you're able to change passcode require immediately and show sms preview all in there the new one has erase if you fail 10 times allow siri when passcode locks things like that so you have a little bit more options there in the passcode lock uh, what else do you have? Network. If we go to network, a little bit different options here. So you have VPN Wi-Fi. You have in network cellular data on and off, data roaming on and off, set a personal hotspot, VPN and Wi-Fi. So uh, they added a few new things there. If they go to Bluetooth, that's going to be a simple on or off scenario. In Bluetooth, it does not support stereo music. So it's going to be a little bit different on that end of it. And you can see even though this stuff is paired, there is no arrow button to in get into it. You, If you click on it, you can unpair an item versus here you have to forget this device by going into the menu structure. So I'm not sure which interface is better. They're both usable. They're both good, I would say. Let's move out of Bluetooth and on to the next option here is keyboard. So Here's keyboard. You have auto capillation and enable caps lock in the original. Now we've added, Apple's added to that quite a bit by adding auto correct, check spelling, shortcuts for a period, international keyboards, and keyboard shortcuts for uh, text expander like things there. So they've added quite a bit of things here in this keyboard area, a noticeable amount of things. And finally, reset. The reset ability here. You have reset all settings, erase all content, reset keyboard dictionary, and reset network settings. So you have also have this new ability to reset home screen layout and reset location warnings in the newer OS. So that's the general tab. And now we're, we're almost at the end here for the original iPhone because you only have mail, uh, which has a couple different settings here. So you have accounts, you're able to add accounts. And if I try to add an account, you have different options. So you only have four options. You have Yahoo Mail, Gmail, Dot Mac, and AOL. This is before mobile money was even out. So the new one, you have iCloud. You have Microsoft Exchange. You have Gmail. It's the same. You have Yahoo, different uh, icon there for Yahoo. You have AOL, different icon once again for AOL. You have Microsoft Hotmail, not present. And you have Mobile Me. So Mobile Me is the Dot Mac. So you have that and you have other. So very similar options except they've been expanded to the more modern providers. Uh, in the old one, you did not have this option of fetch or push data. That is a new feature. You had instead check every hour, every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes. So that the placement's the same, but the feature is a little bit different. You have show 50 messages versus 1,000. So uh, you have a littlest amount, 25 in the original, to 200. You have a range of 25 to 200. The, the new one, you have 50 to 1,000 in the show tab. So a lot different there. As in that, you have five line preview down to one line preview. Same exact preview there. Font size, I'm imagining, will be exactly the same. Yes, it is. Small to giant. You have show to CC. You have asked before deleting. What you have new is organized by thread, load remote images. You also have always send BBC to myself, increased quote level, that's new. The uh, signature is the same. Default account is different. And you have the contacts and calendars integrated right into here, as well as reminders. So that stuff's brand new. If I hop into the phone part of this, you have the phone number here. You have... On the original iPhone, International Assistant, that's been moved to the bottom here. You have Call Forwarding, which is now at the bottom, which is at the top now. Call Waiting, Call ID, TTY, SIM PIN, at t Services. You had TTY, that's been moved there. And 
basically you have pretty much exactly the same functionality. So uh, nothing big here, I guess. Uh, it's basically entirely the same uh, as far as the phone tab. So let's move out of there to Safari. Safari has evolved a lot over the years. And I'm not sure we, if we I have not done a Safari video. That will be a fun one to do. Uh, so you have the search engine. You have Google or Yahoo. They've added a Bing. So that's the difference there. Uh, they had autofill now and open links and background. That stuff's new. The only other things here are mainly security stuff. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you have JavaScript, you have blockups, and yet you actually had plugins, and that is something I'm not finding on the new iPhone. So plugins was removed, it appears. Uh, and then you have clear history, clear cookies and data. That's all there. And so it's similar. They've added some things. Not too different here, though. Moving to the second to last thing, the iPod. Changed quite a bit because you have iTunes Match now. You have cellular data on or off for iTunes Match. And you have all that good stuff. You have Shake to Shuffle. That wasn't present. You have sound check. That's the same. Uh, you have equalizer. That's in there. Audiobook speed. That's not even in the newest one. That's actually a interface design choice that these guys are able to do. And you have volume limit, uh, group by artist, lyrics and podcast information. So you have some extra options, basically. And then you have home sharing down below there. Uh, what else? The final thing is photos. So the photos options, they've changed a little bit. So you have photo stream, you have slideshow, and keep normal photo for HDR. Nothing big there. So that is basically in a nutshell, in almost 20 minutes, sorry about the length here, but how the settings application has changed. There are a lot of things that Apple's added. They've added internationality, they've added location service, not notifications, They've added FaceTime, they've added messages, they've added an app store, notes, the, uh, settings at least. They've added all sorts of things that just aren't present in the original iPhone. The original settings are very simplified and very different, I guess, is the best way to say it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out my podcast, iWake, over at iWakePodcast.com. And thanks for watching. I will be doing more videos in the near future. Aloha. Aloha.